This is a quick instructional video on how to set up your MLP6 DSM transmitter from Spectrum to work with RealFlight. Uh, this is a transmitter that comes with the Sport Cub S2. Uh, it's a nice little trainer transmitter and it has a USB port that you can connect to use it as a RealFlight controller. To do that, you leave the transmitter off and plug in the USB cable to your controller. The transmitter will turn on and it and the computer will sound a couple of beeps to let you know you're ready to go and you can run the software. I'm using Real Flight Trainer Edition, but Evolution and the trial version of Trainer Edition work as well. We've got a controller, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK here. And the software will start. I'm gonna switch it over to the monitor that I'm recording so you can see it. You'll get a message that it's time to calibrate your controller. That sets the centers and range of your motion of your, of your controller so that everything works correctly and the airplane flies straight and level with the stick centered. We'll click next and follow the instructions. So it asks me to center the controls and I want to do that on the radio. I'm not looking at the screen because those values aren't, aren't correct yet. Really I just need to center this throttle stick here. Got it nice in the middle and I hit next. Now I need to move them up and down and left and right to their full range of motion to get the range set. And we are done with calibration. When we click finish We'll get a message that says we've only calibrated five of eight axes. That's okay. We only really have four axes that are functioning on this controller. Um, and it reports more. This is not a problem. Hit yes. And now we can fly. I should be able to fly this Habu. Muted my sound to make it a little easier to talk to you guys. And sure enough, the Habu flies great. I can switch modes. I can even press the panic switch and the aircraft will level itself. And sure enough, that controller is working great. Now, if you needed to change the profile or somehow you got the wrong one to start with, I'll show you how to manually set up what the simulator did automatically for us. You reset this aircraft and set it safely on the runway. If I needed to set, if my controller wasn't working right, I'd come here to select controller, find the MLP6 DSM, and make sure that I'm using the Spectrum MLP6 DSM wired USB profile. Any other profile is probably not going to work right. I can also redo the calibration by clicking this button. That's really what you need to know in order to use this radio as a controller with real flight. It's really exciting to have USB output on a ready to fly trainer radio. Um, looking forward to getting more real flight pilots using these with the simulator. You can ask questions or find more information on our forums at forums.realflight.com. There's a help section there that has lots of handy information. Keep flying.